This is the second time I'm recording this and I'm not happy about it, so this better work. I know, me again. Where's Les cries the crowd? Heartbroken. Well, um, she's in New York City gallivanting around, so yeah, you get me again. So hey guys, uh, today I have a review for you on a book that was provided for me by the author in order to review it, and just as a little disclaimer, um, all opinions are my own. I was not paid in any way to say anything about the book, so yeah, just to get that out there. The book that I read is called No Hope for Gomez and it's by Graham Park. It's a USA Book News Best Book Awards finalist and an International Book Awards finalist and it also was a winner of the Forward Book of the Year award. So yeah, it's got a little bit of hype behind it. It's a short book, it's only 188 pages, but after reading Storm of Swords, let me tell you, this is quite a relief. It's a completely different story and it took me no time to read it at all. Basically, this book is a little bit of mystery, a little bit of romance, and a whole lot of quirkiness. The basis of the storyline is that Gomez has entered himself into a drug trial because he needs a little bit of extra money. He runs an antique shop that his parents left him, but he's really not into selling antiques. He has no idea what he's doing so he isn't making enough money off of that and when he's on this trial the doctors ask him to keep a blog to kind of keep track of his daily thoughts what happens to him etc so this um, book is actually a point of view from his blog entries that he writes so, so they're very sometimes they're pretty long and sometimes they're pretty short but it's always from Gomez's point of view the mystery portion comes from him finding out about a death of someone who was in the drug trial and so he spends some time trying to figure out what happened to him and how it happened. The romance portion uh, comes from Gomez's interactions with the doctor that he has to meet with, I believe it's on a weekly basis, uh, to sort of check up on him during his drug trial. Uh, Dr. Hardgrove, he kind of has a thing for her and decides that he wants to pursue this and then this whole stalking a stalker thing happens. I mean, this is all in the back of the book, so I'm not given anything away with the stalker on stalker thing, but he starts stalking Dr. Hardgrove's suspected stalker. See, you get a little bit of quirky from this, and the whole lot of quirky comes from Gomez's interactions with different characters and just how he reacts to things. He has um, a co-worker, Hicks, who works at the uh, antique shop, and Hicks is just a strange little guy, and I don't think it's just because Gomez is sort of strange and you only see things from Gomez's point of view. I'm pretty sure Hicks is just as weird. There are points of this book that the quirkiness is hilarious and I was chuckling to myself because there were certain lines that I was just like, that's so true or that's a really hilarious, it was just a really good line. And then there are other parts where I mm, was sort of turned off by how quirky it was. I'm usually the sort of person who prefers something that's more logical and there were certain things that Gomez did in this book that I was questioning and I just didn't like how out of the box it seemed. There's also something that I was kind of thinking in the back of my head. I know Gomez is strange, but I was wondering if the drugs were making him stranger or not. They don't, it doesn't really get addressed in the story, but it was just sort of something that was hanging back there. Overall, I'm gonna give this book a three and a half out of five stars, mostly just because of the, the humor element, the quirkiness was a little too much for me at times, but it's still an entertaining and interesting read. Um, I recommend this to anybody who likes humorous books, is looking for a short, refreshing read, something that's different. Like me, if you've been stuck on a book that's over a thousand pages for a really long time, this would be a good thing to read because it's just different, you get it done, you feel good about yourself afterwards, and hopefully you'll enjoy the story. Now, there's one little extra secret thing that I want to add. If when you purchase the book uh, online and you get a purchase email, you can CC um, the author, Graham Park. Um, I'll include his email below. And you could CC him in the email and he will actually send you a second book, sort of like a sequel, um, about Gomez for free. Just make sure you CC him in the email when you've purchased something, say you purchased it on Amazon or whatnot. You get that email, CC him, email will be below, and you can get a free sequel. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any comments or questions, uh, you can always leave them below. If you like book reviews, you like talking about books, you like hearing about books, you can of course subscribe. You can also follow us on Twitter or friend or follow us on Goodreads. All the links are in the doobly-doo. I'll see you guys later.